Hello folks, well I thought we'd give you a little update from the back garden. Now, just bear in mind that the last six weeks very little has been done at all. Just a little bit of weeding, um, so you're seeing it pretty well untouched. So what we got here, Aquilegia, these are all self-setters. We didn't actually set these here. We've got some fox gloves, what you can see just there popping up. There's a few um, which I'm quite surprised. They've really made lovely plants now. Some um, Helibora, there's about seven of those in here. You can, I can see some dandelions in there. But there's all sorts of mixed annual seeds that have been uh, sprinkled in here so I'm not really sure what's going to come up or, or not but uh, it's just a little work in progress to be honest we're going to leave it kind of I'll, I'll take out the weeds what I can see like the dandelions and that but otherwise I'll probably leave it and just see how it goes lots of lovely uh, Californian poppies I believe the yellow ones are they certainly uh, set set themselves everywhere. So let's have a look at the uh, the beds. What are planted? You can see how things are progressing here. And um, well, you can see with the lupins. These are what I grew from seed last year. You can see that this one's got a flower head um, appearing now. So uh, it won't be long before that's out. Uh, and the um, what else we got? We've actually got a red hot poker in the corner over there that survived. There's another one down there. Um, and then inside here we've got some um, Californian poppies. We've got some um, calendula. That's a calendula. That's a Californian poppy. Um, there's certain other plants. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, I've sprinkled these with annual mix. So, And there is... You've probably spotted them, you might not have, if you don't know what you're looking for, but there's some rhubarb. Because um, I sprinkled, I don't know why I did it, but there was some seed, anyway it got sprinkled on. Um, I'm just having a quick peek myself. I've not really took much notice of what's happening on the back there. As far as the apple tree goes, folks, it's looking really, really good. Nadia has done a great job and there's quite a lot of apples on you can't really spot them I mean it has got a few issues I'm not an expert on that so Nadia will probably know what's wrong but there's a few crinkly leaves and stuff that's obviously needs, needs sorting but there's certainly a lot of apples tucked away in the uh, underneath Same with this bed folks, there's lots of activity and it might not look much now but in a month's time this will all be, this could all be about two and a half foot high full of uh, flowers. On the back, back there we've got a oriental poppy and you know I'm not sure what the, what this plant is with the big leaves because I've, I've not seen that before, I think that's a, uh, a self setter. I mean, it almost looks like a kind of hosta, but I don't know. It's it's never been there before, so I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just goes to show when you um, don't get the weeding done, what grows. We've got clematis down here, and then we've got various flowers growing up. Um, oh, is it bleeding heart? Could these be the leading heart? I'm not sure. What I have done is gone through the back here and I've gave it a rough weed. So it's not looking as bad as it was. Um, but it's, it's, it's not something I have anything to do with really. It's, it's left to my parents. Um, I let them get, well, it was their I mean it's me now, I have to clear it and that, but it, I don't really have any say what 
gets grown here, if it was left to me, it would all be done differently. But of course now we've got fruit trees in here, there's not a lot I can do about that. The tree what you're looking at here is the plum tree, Cesar. And I'm just trying to see whether that's got any fruit on it. Yes, he does. I can see a plum, a plum just there. But you know, yeah, there's one or two, but it's not going to be a great amount. No, we're not going to have a good year for plums, that's for sure. But pears, that's a different matter. Can you see? Let's zoom in. You can see. See if I can just uh, pan around a little. Can't really, can't really see on the through the display, but I can tell. I can confirm that it's loaded. The pear tree is. And also the apple tree at the back there, which gets neglected. That one there. It's absolutely full of apples. It's absolutely it's only a little wee thing, but it's it's full. Right, let's just go and have a look round then at the other two beds. And we've got a few strawberry plants now. I've not, they've not had any watering done at all. Um, none at all. But you can see we've got strawberries. And to, to be honest with you, I was thinking about uh, just using them to fill the beds. And uh, but uh, we're going to get a few strawberries, a few hundred maybe. And then we've got the beds at the background. You can see we've got Sweet William, we've got a few pansies, and again, these have been sprinkled with uh, annual mixes. So we've, we're gonna have some poppies. We've got dahlias in these. Um, so in a month's time, it should look totally different. The troughs and that at the back have never been sorted since last year. The rose is seen better days. I think it's 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 not going to survive. I don't think it's looking too good at all. Um, yeah, and just to show you what difference positioning has with your strawberries. If you look at these three here, can you see how they look so much more healthier? And uh, they've got a lot more foliage. The reason for this, folks, is you got conservatory at the background and it obviously disperses some heat and that's what the strawberry plants pick up on again these haven't been watered this year at all and what I should be doing now because we've got little strawberries being to form is to give all of these a good soak so anything what's got strawberries on you need to give them a good soak not not so easy when you're at allotment because it's so much water involved but if you're at home then get the hose pipe out and give them a good soak in fact that's what i think will be a job for tomorrow so that's it folks that's a little update i hope you enjoy it and uh hopefully the next time i do one there'll be a lot more color in the garden